A Chicago Dear Chicago This is going to be your future About this time Next year This is New York City You got to thank Mayor Adams for this shit Because I don't see him no more uh -huh. They either, um, The Seventh Day Event They church used to feed him Yeah and they used to clothe them. They used to give them, you know, uh, places where they can go to get. That's what I was saying. The church was saying that they pack, like they they, they said they don't do it. They they they, cause they 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 ain't got no more money. The church said they ran they running out of money helping them in New York City. That's crazy. <laughs> this is the government's fault. Man. Yeah. And you know, the church is supposed to help everybody. And they said they running out. They said they ain't got no more money. If the church is running out of money, it's a problem. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's leaning, it's leaning real heavy. Okay, we got homeless people right here. He's from here. He's from here. He, he ain't at that hotels that we passed today. Okay, he's from here. He ain't at one of the hotels we had today. He on the streets. He on the streets. They got no help, and then you got the, the migrants, and they, they in nice hotels. <laughs> Big Hawk with me right here. What's going New on? York, Yonkers native, but he from New York. He grew up in the Bronx. He's gonna walk around with me today, man. You know, we at, uh, we at the Roosevelt, Roosevelt Hotel, right next to that dumpster, where I did the interview with the African uh, migrant. They said, man, all he wanna do is work. He was quick collecting the cans and the plastic and stuff like that. So I'm gonna walk around with Big Hawk. Let's walk around here, I'll let you see something, and then we start talking. But don't forget, you rocking out with the one and only Silly Dom. Oh yeah. So we walking in the back of the building. Big Hawk, I usually, I walk around this place all the time just to you know, let everybody see what's going on. Let them see where that tax dollar is going on. Once you hit this left turn right here, watch this, you're about to see a thousand scooters. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and they get scared of me right there. They probably seen like a lot of my videos now. What's up fellas, how y'all doing? Yeah. So what do you, what do you, what do you think of this? We in a, like the back of the Roosevelt Hotel. Any migrant that comes to New York, they have to come here first. When they was all sleeping on the streets wow. and stuff, this is where they were sleeping at, right here. We never had this before. No, you ain't never. They, they never had this before. You see this? I was born and raised here, man. Wow. You see what I mean? But see, my thing is this. What's your this opinion? Let, let them know. Let them know, man. I like. I want to hear a New Yorker from this here. This is my opinion. Yeah. I have no problem with people trying to escape. Their, you know, their problem, but you gotta fix the problem here. Yeah. You can't uh, pay attention to people that's not from this country, and then you got homeless people that's from this country and not get the same thing what they get. So yeah. it's not fair. I understand that they they running away from people that's abusing them in their country, but you gotta deal with the people here first. People here are veterans that serve this country. Yeah. People work and they went through a hard time and lost their job and now they're sleeping in the street. And it's like, the powers that be don't care. They don't care about the people that's from yeah, here. Yeah, the regular person. They care about the people that's coming here. Look at this, That's man. not good. Look at this, man. Look at this. They got I scooters. Now you see, most of them don't have license plates, right? Now if it was a regular citizen riding around with no, li no license plate, he gonna get a ticket, right? How do they get away with this? I don't know how they're getting away with it. How do they get away with not... If I didn't have license plates or license, trust me. Yeah, it'd be a problem. It'd be a problem. Or oh, you're going to get a fine. Or you or they gonna get a they, or, they gonna, or they're going to tow it. They're going to tow your vehicle right there on the spot. I've never seen nothing like that. They're going to tow you. Look, they all back here. Look, they chilling behind us. Everybody it's there. Horrible, then the people that's here are getting not even getting the break. No, not at all. How are you giving these people all this money and a place to live? But people that's here that was born on this soil. Yeah. Thank born you. right here in this soil on the, in New York City. They lost their job maybe because of COVID. Yeah. Or people were just getting laid off because the companies went under. Yeah. So now they're sleeping in their cars, tents, trucks, 
and in the street, and they're just being ignored. Yeah. This is not good. Oh, yeah. This is not good. This is not good at all. And then you got scooters yeah. that has no license. Yeah, you see it right there. I'm not making no up. Seen Look, like those scooters, and they ride them. They ride them around. They, they not in, they, they not in the Bronx. This? They not in the Bronx. They, they not in Manhattan. They in Manhattan. They not in Brooklyn. They not this in them places. Horrible, man. Yeah. This is horrible. Where are the license plates on? If you hit somebody, who are you gonna sue? They they don't have their papers yet. They're not citizens. Who who's who's responsible? Liability. It's gonna be the taxpayers because yeah, for some reason it's gonna come out of our pocket. You know, yeah, because they gonna have to fix that person's car or that person's vehicle or that person's hospital voted, expenses. They should have voted for Curtis Rock Sliwa. I've been a guardian angel from 1986, uh -huh. and I'm still a guardian angel. And they put this guy in office, Mayor Adams. You don't know. like Adams? You don't like Adams? I, I don't like. I never. I just never did. Why? 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 Why you don't like him? I just it's something about I never liked that. But even when he was a detective yeah. before he ran, I just never liked him. I just okay. it was something. That's something about him you don't like. The wrong way. It, 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 it's, I just I know Rock would have never let this happen. Curtis would have never let this yeah. happen. Yeah. Wow. Never but it's not really. To be honest with you, I don't think it's not even the mayor or the governor. It's bigger than that, man. It's bigger than that. They didn't call to say I want all these people here to be on these. I know what it's yeah. I know what it's yeah. yeah. Hold on one second. Let's see right here for a second. But this is the front of the building, guys. This is, this is it right here. The front of the building. Wow. Yeah, this is it. And it's the Roosevelt. Let them know. I was it's born and raised here. Wait till man. you get to the other places. We're going to go to a couple places. I never Look at that. Like this. this used to be a luxury hotel. Man. Wow. Man. Not no more. This used to be a luxury hotel. I was born and raised right here, man. Wow. Like, what happened? I that? think something's going on beyond this. Yeah. Because to let all these people come and do, this is a luxury hotel. Look at the this. The Hotel had people that used to come up in here. People that had money. Yeah. This wow. is all of it. Yeah, I want somebody to walk with me so they can see what's going on with everything. This is crazy. Yeah. Let's keep going. Not good, bro. Not good at all. Some, some have license plates, you know one, what I mean? Couple of guys couple have plates, some, but yeah, look, no, no plates on that one yet. How do you ride a scooter with no license plates, man? Yeah. Like, who does that? If I ride a, a scooter with license plate, they lock me up. What about helmets? Are you a, with a You gotta wear helmets, no, people, you gotta have license plates. Man, plate. people riding around with no helmets in the street. Like, what's going on here, man? This is not America, man. Not the America I grew up in, though. Definitely not the New York you grew up in. And I was born in. Look at that. I'll show you another one. I can't make this up. Look at this. They got plates. They got plate right here. No plate right there. And every day somebody's coming in. This is the first time I walked around. Now we're going to go to the front of the building. Listen, if y'all want, want to hear more stuff, go to my channel. Yeah, go Big, to his channel. Big, Big Hawk, Hawk Yonk is native. Big Hawk Yonk is native. Go to his channel. And I talk about this because this is not good. Yeah. This whole situation was going on with this man and the people that share that's not getting a break and, they, and these people are getting a break. This is not good. I don't, listen, I understand a lot of them have problems in their country and stuff like that, but you got to fix here. They say first. home first. They always say home you first. always fix your home first and then you can help somebody else. But we're doing it backwards. Yeah. And people are upset. People have the right. The people in Chicago are mad as hell. Oh yeah, they get they're giving them nine thousand. I think they're giving them nine thousand a month. Chicago for like is housing more reckless something. than New York. New York is we we upset, but Chicago is not playing, man. No, because they already they see New York. They see what's going on in New York, and they like, yo, we can't have this happen to our city. This used to be a luxury hotel of old hotel. Let's go to the front of the building. It's over here. Wow. And then they put them on them buses like that, the uh, yeah, city buses, and they move them around the city and stuff like that. Now you know they're catching a lot of flag now with the fire marshals. Fire marshals yes. going there and saying the buildings yes. are not suitable for people to yes. be there, and they closing them down. Yes. And they, they, your, your mayor, the mayor, you said you don't like. It. I hate he said it ain't no more. It ain't. He has no more places to put them. I never like that. They that. trying to get. He said they trying to get ten cities now. What do you think about that? Get How some you tents? Think ten cities. When it's, it's, it's not even no room. Yeah, you got they, want, they looking for space. You got people in here, in America, that's living in tents. So where they gonna go? Like, yeah. what are y'all trying to prove 
doing this stuff. Because they can't, they can't deport everybody back. Sorry about that, son. They can't deport everybody back. So some people, some people here, they made it, they here, they here. I mean, listen, the ones that made it, the ones that followed the rules, they got their own place, they got a job, I, I'm with that. But yeah. the ones that's just sucking and sucking and sucking, and then, you know, the other people that's here that, uh, you know, paid their taxes, but unfortunately lost their job, you got to do something for them. We can't keep supporting everybody. You got to support home first. Yeah, that's true. Hey, now we at the front of the building. Yeah, this used to be a luxury hotel. Yeah, that's the buses they get them. Like, once they uh, get a whole bunch of them, they process them, they put them on them buses and they go. Yeah, man. This is, this is off the chain. Let me let you see so they can see the Roosevelt Hotel so they know. Boom. This used to be a luxury hotel, man. You know rich people used to stay up in here, man. Yeah, that's You had celebrities come up here and rich people come up in this hotel, man. Wow. This is horrible. This is not fair, man. You don't think it's fair at all? It's not right because what about the people that's from here? Uh -huh. So you just take the people that's from here and you don't do nothing for them, but the people that came here, you're doing something for them? Like, who yeah, does that? We got that? vets. Like I said, we got vets. You know what? The listen, entrance right, right now, here. we're a laughing stock of the world. America so? right now is a laughing stock of the world. Uh -huh. But you know they want to come to America because, let me tell you why, we always promote it like, uh, the American dream, you can be successful here, you can be a millionaire here, and which you can. You can, but you can't. All, all people ain't gonna become millionaires. No, most people not. They gonna work a nine to five, they gonna work hard. It's one percent of millionaires that live here. One percent. Yeah. Everybody else is just either making or they became rich. Man, make sure you guys get a video like and check that. Check check how many mil millionaires are in the United States. What's the percentage? Let one, us know. I think it's like one percent. We'll check. Somebody gonna check for us? Check, check, for us. check. But I think check, it's yeah. like one percent. Put that in the comment section. But yeah, this is it. This is about the front of the building. where they come in at. This is where everything is at. You know, celebrities used to come up in here. Rich people uh -huh. used to come up in here, man. Wow. They used to come up in here, bro. Wow. This is horrible. Well, we're going to go to the next spot right now. Let me show you another spot as well. So you can see what's going on. This is crazy, huh? Nuts. <laughs> I mean, my years living here, I'm 53 years old, man. I never seen this hotel like this. It, it used to be limos parked over here, man. Wow, right here. You used you to said... walk up in here. Uh -huh. And celebrities and rich people used to walk right up in here, man. Wow. And now this is where Nah, New York is finished, man. <laughs> And I'm, I, I'm from here. I was born and raised here. I was born 181st Street in the South Bronx. Seven years old, I moved to Yonkers, man. I made that my home. And I've never seen nothing like this. Wow. Never. New, New York, it's finished. New York is done. I suggest people come here to visit, but you can't live here. Not like what's going on here, you can't live here. Wait, wait where I take you next. Let's go next. I'm going to show you where I'm going to take you at next. You're going to be like, oh. what? And this one, yeah, this is just a, this the main center where they all come in at, man. Don't forget you rocking out with the one and only Philly Dom. All right. Wow. You can't believe it. Yo. You can't believe it. This was a rich, I'm telling you, let me see. Yeah. You yeah. should walk up in here. He ain't never been down here, so I had to take him down here and let him see what was going on. He yeah. said on the news, but to see it in, you know, in reality. Yeah. yeah with people sleeping on them streets right here. Trying to get processed, man. This is New York. It's, this is crazy. And what they call you got a sanctuary city or a sovereign city? What is it? Sanctuary? They call it like a sovereign sanctuary city here in New York. Okay. That's why people they know about this. They might they need to change that because it's backfiring on them right now. No, it is because now, you know, this guy saying Adam saying, "Oh, we don't have no room," but you knew this. See, the thing is, this is where he where he messed up at. In the Bronx. And in Manhattan and in Queens, they have a lot of vacant lots or they have buildings that's not being used. Okay. What he should have done as a mayor, and, I, and I'm not the smart like in the socket, but I'm not the dumb. Okay. You I'll let you talk to you. Hold on. Hold you on. hook these places up. Okay. You should have took all the people that was there homeless and put them there, gave them free everything. Gave them a check a month, let them get themselves together. Yeah. And then, if there was room, you then should have brought them over here. But he did it backwards. You still got vacant lots and you still got buildings all over and not nice being done, but you put them in motels. Yeah, because I guess he ain't know where to put them at. And then you kick veterans, like my sister and brother's a veteran. You kick them out, put them there. They not getting, they not staying at the road, bro. They not, and 
It's people staying at some real nice hotels. I don't even want to say the name. This right here people, was man. one of the ultimate. Y'all teach that limousines. Fancy cars because after shows in like the garden and all yeah. that, they would come here to stay the celebrities. Wow. Rich people would come here to stay. Wow. And they gave it all up for this. We're in Times Square right now. The old hangout spot, me and my family, me, uh -huh. my people, we used to come out here. That was, that was a TRL. Oh. Press Live, that was, um, oh, wow. It ain't there no more. Right. There no more. That was MTV. Um, over here, we had um, Toys R Us. Uh -huh. But now it's the Rubber 21. Rubber 1. That's where the ball drops every year with the Red Right there, it's going to drop there this year. Every year, that's where the ball drops right there. I don't, don't get ran over, don't get ran over. <laughs> yeah. yeah so. uh, we're going to try to cross this street. So now I'm taking them to uh, the NYC Row. So was that a hotel back in the day? Was the Row yeah, Hotel? Like, uh, yeah, that was like some type of... Uh, it was like weird for when tourists is coming, because a lot of these motels, uh -huh. the tourists used to come in and take over. Unless you had somebody rich that was just chilling out in the city. The tourists, that's how the hotels made their money. Uh -huh. That's why that, yeah, it was mostly off of tourists, and you had rich people used to come here, you know, and do what they got to do, maybe for meetings. Okay, and they would go, they so would it was a hotel, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know what, it, I don't know what they do, I guess what now they, it's, they housing migrants there now. Yeah, you gonna see the same situation. You gonna see it. We right there. Right now, where are we at? We on where? When they tab me right now. Okay, we going to NYC Row. And if anybody know any other migrant shelters you want me to go by and investigate, let me know. I'm gonna go there. And remember my boy Big Hawk. Check out his YouTube channel, Big Hawk Yonkers Native. Yes. Big Hawk Yonkers Native. His, his information will be in the description. Sit right here. This way, here you go. You see the scooters. Oh, Look yeah, at that. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> uh, wow, I ran into that. We're going to cross the street there, too. It was a two weeks ago when I was going uh -huh. to Central Park, and it's like, this is... Look at this, man. This is incredible. I, mean, I never... All my 53 years of living, I've never seen nothing like this. <laughs> I've never... 53 years of I've never seen nothing like this. Wow, we're going to cross the street so you can see it. The other day they recorded me because I was recording them, so they recorded me. I'm like... Cool, I'll blow me up. I want people to know who I am. I want you, I want the videos to go everywhere, so record me. They right here, that's them right here. We on, this is it, they going here, right here. I don't even see the security. Oh, it was a hotel? Yeah, this is the luxury jump. Yeah, this is, this is the migrants. They right here in front of the hotel. I've never seen it. I've been, I've been here all my life. Yeah, this I've is never it. seen that one. This is the row. Yo, this the row, is this is the row. And this is them right here, the migrants wow. all hanging out. You see them hanging out? Oh we can we we'll walk up. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Let you see it right. Hold on. Turn around. Let you see. This is it. Wow. It's the road. It used to be a hotel, man. Back in the day, it was a hotel. Yeah. Wow, yeah, they're using them to house migrants what right now. The... And they ain't got no more room, no more space, everything is Are closed. you serious? Yeah, this is it. Boy, all the New Yorkers, man, I, I, I feel y'all, because I'm one of them. But this is why I left. I moved to New Jersey, but I still work here. I still work here now. But wow. I never... Never seen this, this before. This is all new. This is it. And it's called The Row. We'll go, let's cross the street. And we can, uh, let's just cross the street so you can wow, see. Yeah. Man. Then the other one I'm taking, so you went to tell me that building. I ain't never been there, but you'll know it. You're a New Yorker, so you'll know the building. Yeah, this is a uh, hotel. Wow, let's cross it. Hotel, here. and then they have like, um, like uh -huh. different type of uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, food, like a food, like a restaurant. Yeah, this yeah. is like one of the luxuries. Majority of all these places, luxury hotels in Tennessee. Yeah, because I mean, this is Manhattan, so you know, Manhattan. And we used to patrol this whole area. This is our. Our headquarters was up here. Uh huh. And we when you was a guardian angel, angel. okay. Yeah. And we used to patrol all this. Here you go, right here, boom. There you go. I never seen nothing like this. Look man. at this, man. There you go. I never seen nothing like this. And they get the scooters because you know they cheap and everything. Somebody wants to know if they paying for it, how they getting them. Yeah. Oh, well, let's sit back for a second. Are they still there? Yeah, we see it up in there. All right, well, let's stay somewhere for a second so we can talk. Let's see, this is the front of it. Yeah. Let's sit there right here. This should be a hotel. 
Man, the row, the row NYC. And how many rooms, how many floors do you think it had? You in New York? I've never Let been. Me, up I'm gonna there. try to count them. I've never been. Up Let's there. try to count it real quick. One, two. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 20, 20 something floors. 20 something floors, and they saying it's full, they ain't got no more room. You see the scooters, look at this. Yo, man, we in trouble. We are in trouble. You see this? And you know they're giving them $400 a day. They say for, it costs $400 a day to house a migrant yes. family, and they saying, 9.8 million. They said 9.8 million uh, uh, a day all together for all the but migrants. This, but but this is, which is $10 million. Dollars. Look at this. But this is why they're doing it. They'll get more money housing them than, than tourists. That's yeah. a lot of money, man. Yeah. That's a lot of money. If, if $400 a day. And, and then, then all of them together in New yes. York, it's $10 million. They spend yes. $10 million a day. They you know how much for the it. month? You know what the month is? Want to know what the month is? How much? $300 million a month. $300 million so, a month. 300 million a month to house them yeah. and nothing for the people here. Like, just nothing. Yeah. Like, homeless people that was living yeah. on the raised here, they get yeah. nothing. Yeah. Look at this, man. Wow. This is it. Welcome to the new uh, New York City. We can go back this way. We can go back this way. But, but hold on. Let's go this way to let them see something. Look at this. So, so, so the police, look at this. The police, NYCPD, look at this. That's the, that's one of those, they, they, they giving them light, they light, but they have to, so people won't crash, I guess, into yeah. them, not seeing them. But look, they got a little, uh, <laughs> like a generator, give them light, look like they got a security guard here at night. Somebody, somebody just sit there. Make sure. Sit there. Wow. And we can show you, the, some got license plates, some don't. They, the ones that have license plates, they're very smart to have. Yeah, you some have license plates. They get messed up, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. This is crazy. Everywhere. No wonder why people in, uh, that was born and raised are mad. Yeah. All this money to house them and nothing for these people. Yeah. That's why they're in uproar. Man, That's listen, why they're protesting. It's going to be a riot real soon. You think it'll be a riot or something? It's going to be a riot because people aren't going to take it no more. They're going to see if you give us something or you. We, got to, we, we have to do what we got to do. This is going to the taxpayer dollar, yo. This is going to the taxpayer dollar. I, I work. I've been on my job 23 years. So now they can they can raise your taxes and they can justify it because they say, yep. look, we had to take care of this yep. expense right and here. I don't have no children. Yeah, so you're going to get hit I harder than anybody. I don't have no children. No, you're going to get hit hard. So when they do, do I heard that they were just with this one. Yeah. What the president was saying that we might have to raise, you know, put a raise in our taxes. We have to pay more money to house them. But you're going to make me pay for some house. I don't have no kids. I, I, these ain't my children. These are grown people. Yeah. Look at right here. Wow. That's it. That's where your tax dollars Look at that. And then you know they're doing like Uber. A lot of them doing Uber. This is great. You know, look at that. They got their thing. Look, look. So you can see. I want people to see this. They deliver. They doing Uber. How they doing that? I think you ain't got no paper. How they, how Some do have papers, but most don't. Most don't. Only like a little, little big guy paper. Yeah. And then people want to know how they got the scooters. When I asked them about the scooters, they said they brought it themselves. They said they that said they brought the scooters themselves. One guy told me he brought it himself. He was like, look, he said he was working a job. He was working a job. He was getting five hundred dollars a week yeah. under the table. And he saved up his money and got it. He said they don't help like single men, because the most of the people that come are single men. Yes. He but said they, they just house you, you know, give you the shelter or whatever. Yeah. But he said after that, and I guess they give them food and stuff, but yeah. he said as far as everything else, like the scooters they got on their own. So they're gonna help the women and kids. I'm yeah, not, so I the families, yeah, and so, so they probably can get, if they, they give them that $2,000, they can save some of that and buy a scooter, just which is like $1,000. Whoever's selling the scooters in New York, boy, they, 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 don't, let me see, they don't hit the lottery. Whoever hitting, selling scooters, they don't hit the lottery wow. here, boy. Look at this. Yeah, this is Crazy. They hit the lottery. Yeah, Boy, welcome to new, the new New York City. Welcome to Manhattan. Yeah, this is Manhattan. We've been in Manhattan all day. We ain't going nowhere else. We in Manhattan. Manhattan. Let me take you to the third place. Wow. So this is another hotel. I'm glad yeah, I have a New York yeah, with me yeah. to explain. It's another yeah, hotel. Yeah, so we used to be a garden. That was a hotel, and they had like a um, 
a restaurant with people that hotel, for the hotel people to eat at. If you, uh -huh. you know, if you went there at the hotel, you was able to go down there. To eat. So you've been there. You've been inside of there. Now? I never went inside. We used to walk, but this, we used to patrol this area. Oh yeah, with the guard. Headquarters on 46, 47 Street, right there. Okay. So you know, yeah. Right over I've never seen New York like this. And in Queens, where I'm at, you know, I'm in Queens. Like, uh, no, I don't think we can go. In Queens, 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 where I'm at, the area where I'm at, like that Long Island, Queens, Long, Long Island City, Queens, right there. Man, they got so many migrant hotels there. It's not even, it's not even, a, it's not even funny, man. That's, Queens has the, the most migrant hotels out of any place. No, we don't have nothing right now, man. I'm sorry about that. And wow, once again, it's my boy Big Hawk, Yonkers native. Check out his channel. Tell him what you do on your channel. Let him know. Okay, basically. While we go to the other migrant place, we're on our way to a third migrant place. Wow. Yeah. Basically, on my channel, you're going to get it raw. I do get on the black American community. It's not that I hate my people, I love my people. We can do better. Okay. What are we doing now? Uh -huh. Second, I like to do a lot of history on the Spanish countries, like the dark skinned people. Afro, the Afro like Latins. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing, I'm exploring like the Afro Latin countries like uh, Puerto Rico, Brazil, Dominican Republic, uh, Mexico. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm doing a whole thing on that. Okay. So whoever, I'm, if, if you do have any followers from the country, you can join my uh, my, uh, my page, my yeah. channel, and then you can see what I'm doing because I'm, yeah. I'm hitting uh, the black uh, black Latin countries right now. Let them know. Let them know the name of your channel again. It's gonna be Big Hawk Yonkers Native, and it's gonna be in the description. I'm having it in the description. Yonkers Native, it's right gonna be there, in the description. Man. It's gonna be right in the description, right there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Do they have uh, migrants there in um, Yonkers? Yes, they do. So they got hotel. You gotta take me. I there have too. to. I have to find out where because okay. my brother told me to have. And y'all, they, they putting but, them all over New York. New all York over is New York. Big. They're all over. They got. I don't know where in New York they have them, uh -huh. but when we get there, we'll find out. Okay. Because my brother just told me it's a year to have my here too. I said okay, no problem. Yeah, because they, they got they put them anywhere they can find a spot for them. Well, they made go. their own bed. Now they have to lie in the man. Um, yeah, they New just York. took a chance. They just took New a chance. York took a chance, man. Yeah. They made their well, own Well, it's that, that sovereign or sanctuary city this situation. This is Port Authority right here. Port Authority right here. This is where they came in from right yeah, here. Yeah, they come in on the buses right here. They came on the buses right here. We got to go this way. The one is this way, yeah. But it's Port Authority right there. That's where they come off the buses, then they take them to, uh, I guess they take them to, uh, they take them to the Roosevelt. Roosevelt yeah, first, yeah, process the them. Then they bust them over there. Yeah. And they process them after that. They've been there forever. What? Yeah. The, no. I actually went there. I think I ate there last night. You did? Yeah, I think I ate there last night. I just grabbed a slice of pizza with my son. Yeah, they had, like they got they come on they got 99 cent slices and stuff like that. Yeah. It wasn't 99 cent, but it was like 2.99, 1.99. Yeah, 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 but yeah. still cheap. That was cheap. And it was good pizza. It wasn't well, nasty. We used, to, we used to eat there a lot. I used to eat there. Yeah, that's actually good. The, the, uh, the cheese from Bowles. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They were good. Yeah, man. Wow. So now we're walking up on the third migrant place right here. If anybody know any more of them in Manhattan, let me know. Let me know. Let your boy Philly Dom know, and I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely go there, and I'll definitely record. I've been to like, man, maybe like 20 places now. 20 different migrant places now. I've been, I've been to a lot of them. Man, this is an old, this is a candy store. Uh -huh. That sells all the old school candies from back in the day. Okay. This right here. We gotta check it out one of these days. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they, they sell a lot of old school candies up in there. Okay. Some of them see, they got it right up in this place. Okay. They must not allow them to hang out today. Oh, they be hanging, I know, they be hanging over here. They be hanging on the wall, they not there. Yeah, to, yeah. They not out there today, hold on. I'm gonna show you where it's at. That's where we hung out the first yeah, day, the yeah, Apple yeah. Bay, right there. Yeah. But usually they be hanging out all through here. Right over here, they be on, on sitting down. Yeah. But we don't really see too many out today. They must have told them they can't hang out there or something. Like I said before, they, they started deporting a lot of them. No, they, they, they not, they, they, I can't really say they deporting them because not many of them go back. Yo, they ain't really deporting them. 
Okay. They're not really deporting them like that. That's what somebody told me. Sir. No, no, that's a rumor. They recorded, deported like a hundred or something, but they were at the border, but not. Not. So they must have told them we got something today. You guys can't hang out here. Yeah. That's hold on, hold on. Where is it at? Interesting. Let's find out what he. Oh yeah, it's right here. No, we here. We ain't get to it yet. There they go. <laughs> we ain't get there yet. Right here. Oh, this, this used to be like the um. Yeah. This used to be like. The, See, there you go. There they go. All hanging out. This used to be like the um. Like, like they had like Broadway shows and stuff. Broadway shows there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, Okay, this building. This building right here. This is it. What's this building called? What is this building? Hold on, you gotta stay close to me. What's this, what building is this? This, this used to be. What's this, like, what is that right there? It was like, it was like a Broadway place, but they did Broadway shows and stuff. That's, that's what this used yeah. to be. And then when the pandemic came, uh -huh. they closed it down. Once, once the is, pandemic hit, yeah, it used to be like a, um, it was like a, uh, hold on, fix my thing. Hold on. They said, and you see all the migrants, like they hanging out yeah. right here on the side. Usually be a lot of them, hold but on. I ain't know this building, but they told okay, me, she, yeah, some lady told me to go here. She said, you recording? You should go here and check this one out. This, this used to be like, it was a uh, place where Broadway shows. Uh huh. And this is when the when the when the pandemic hit, they shut it down. But this, okay. And it was like a, like a hotel too, like you people would stay. So they got like, them in a the hotel yeah, park. Yeah. And the well, show, yeah. obviously like the some of the actors, like some of the people were acting and yeah. they would stay in here. So obviously the shows are still going on right here. But that's a migrant facility right there. They that's what migrants are saying. That you can see them right here. They all hanging out right here. As you can see, they all hanging out right here, right now on these little places, man. But yeah. All right, but you ain't know, but that's a 220. Yeah, so what is yeah. this 220 what? Uh, this was the, um, two, it would be Times Square. Times Square, so they hanging out in Times Square at, I guess a luxury hotel, this hotel or whatever, it has to be guess, nice. I guess they shut it down for them. No, but no, they, they shut it down for the, uh, for the, for people to stay there. Exactly. But the, the migrants are staying exactly. there. The migrants are staying. Yeah, they're right behind you. Like, look, right behind them. You turn around, they're right there. Oh, I see them. Yeah, they're they, all right they, here. They, they, they right down there. Down. And another thing about the migrants, I'm glad you're here with me. A lot of them don't want to be on camera and stuff like that. So people always ask me, like, oh, try to do this, try to talk to them. And nah, stuff they're like not going to do that. A lot of, them, a lot of them. And you don't know what they was briefed inside. Yeah. Oh, you can get kicked out if you're talking to the media. You never yes, know yes, what, yes. They were, what, what they were told. A lot of them don't want to be on camera because certain reasons in, in their country, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, some of them are po like political asylum, like, yeah, you know what I mean? There's yeah. a lot of reasons why people, you know what I mean? Yes, that's why they know. Yeah, but if they got some enemies or problems back home, yes. it's, gonna be, it's gonna be pretty hard to touch them in the U.S. Yes. You really gonna have to put an effort in to get to them. Yes. Yeah, but that's what I'm doing right here. This is right here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. New York is not the same no more. Yeah. Anybody that comes here, just make sure mm -hmm. You uh, be careful. Okay. Just be careful. Just uh -huh. be careful when you come here. Just make sure you be careful. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of them, they start in trouble with people too. So they're not a lot of them. Not they all start. No, no, no. It's something that it's always a, the bad apple among the yeah. bunch. It's always the one. But like I said, started, most of them yeah. are good people. No, no, most of them. Some of them, a lot of them. But come there's bad there apples work. among yeah. They want to work and they want to get themselves together. And I like that. But the other yeah. ones, nah. They, you got a lot of them other, around for different reasons different elements yeah, and stuff like elements. that. And they're gonna get taken advantage like of here. The hand. ones that I like that work, I, I, I give them their props, man. Yeah. They come in and work, I give them their props, man. That's why it's so, so important to make sure they get jobs in different situations. Because if they don't, they might start a life of crime here. Right. Because now you got yeah, you got gangsters and people here that can manipulate them easy and say, yep. if you do this for me, you take this package, I'll give you three thousand yep. dollars. You take this, I'll give you two thousand yep. dollars. You take this, I'll give you five thousand yep. dollars. You take this. They and do you that with people are living, so yeah. that's with them. Yeah. That's how they recruit the young kids here, man. Yeah, man. How you think they recruit the young kids here? Yeah. Young wow. kids here, they are being recruited. And the people are they they're desperate. The people are desperate, they need yep. money. Yep. You know what I mean? The struggle is real. They need money. Really? Yeah. I'm going to go by the door so they can mess with me for a second. Hold on, I'll do this again. Yeah, but this is, a, this is the building right here. This is it right here. <laughs> this is it right here. This is it right here. Where they keep the migrants at, right here. They coming in, you see the suitcases. All right, let's go to, uh, 
Whole Foods. I'm gonna help them, man, with some YouTube stuff now. But they out here, you see them. And this one, I noticed they have a lot of black migrants here too. I noticed that. You notice this one? Big Hawk, they got a lot of black ones on this one. At that one. There's a lot of Africans or Caribbean. Yeah. Well, yeah, they ain't want to be on camera or nothing like that. You know how it go. The struggle was real. thing you just struck like lightning man this whole thing you know it we just got over the covid situation in this man yeah it's like one thing for new york after we got a under a black cloud my man yeah so, I, mean, I know chicago getting it your uh yeah. el paso texas you got a lot of people el paso texas, texas. Oh, sandy texas. oh yeah. yeah san diego california they getting it Couple other cities right along that border. I'm so Houston getting it. Oh yeah, yeah, Houston, Texas. I just don't know what's the how many sovereign cities, like big sovereign cities or sanctuary cities in the United States. If anybody can tell us the number. Well, New York is one. We know New York is one, but big cities, far as big cities, what are other? Is it Chicago? One? Chicago's one. Yeah, definitely Chicago's one. Yeah. But what other big, big, big city do we have? LA getting it, LA been getting it. Oh yeah. LA, LA get it, LA been getting it. That's like first stop, you come out of Tijuana, that's first stop. You pass through San Diego and LA. And LA is a lot bigger than San Diego. Yeah, it is. And San Diego, you know, San Diego is not a uh, sanctuary city, so they not letting, they, it's like non-profits helping them there at the border. Oh, they're helping them. Yeah, but they get them out of there. Oh, they not letting them come in, all right. I mean, they can stay there, they ain't going, you can stay in San Diego, but now you homeless. You're going to be on the streets. You know what I mean? Uh, if a, a, a non-profit can put you in a hotel, but they they to the max. It's to the point now, the other day, I saw a video from the Roosevelt Hotel. The uh, the clergy, the church, said, yo, they can't do it no more. They said, they, you know, churches are taking migrants in and stuff. Right. And they, the pastors and the, uh, and the bishops and the, uh, the priests and everything said, they, they, they had capacity. They can't do nothing else. They can't help no more. They need help. They said if they're going to keep doing this, they need money. <coughs> they need money to help because they... Well, you know, like I said, Adams screwed up. Adams yeah. had all these places in the... All the maze. Yeah. They should have fixed up these places for the homeless from the start. And, yeah. They should have. The Bronx has yeah. buildings that had these... Oh, empty lot for empty buildings. They should have did this. And then if there was room, now we could see how much we could fit in. But they did everything backwards. And now it's a big jam. Man. It's a car crash right now. Yeah, they, they have no more room. It's man. a car crash. They have no more room. Wow. New York City is like a no-go zone like for migrants. But they keep coming here. They keep coming. There's a no-go zone right now. They have no... New York City is done. It's... And let me tell you something. The women are beautiful. The Venice weather women, they're beautiful. Uh-huh. They're beautiful women. Yeah. But you know... They... They got massive kids, and then it's a lot. You know, they, they gonna look for a husband, man. Yeah. They say, what, from what somebody told me, uh -huh. a lot of the guys that they come with are not really caring for them. I mean, they got they defending for themselves. Anybody defends for themselves. Right anybody now. that took this ride up here is because you came up here for a reason because your money wasn't right. Right, right, right. Or you, you political problems, or you a, a poverty situation. But you know, with Venezuela, it's the political situation. Yeah, I'm hearing a yeah. lot. Of, that's why I'm hearing everybody trying, don't want to go back there. No yeah, that, that money, money is zero. That money is not worth nothing. That money is not worth nothing. People uh, using Bitcoin and stuff to survive, to move money around in Venezuela. In Venezuela? A, yeah, man, it's, the money is not worth nothing. I'll tell you that. So they using Bitcoin? Bitcoin and whatever other... Uh, I think they got Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's to move everything around. So it's rough on them, man. It's rough. It's rough. It's rough. So more of these videos gonna come out, man. Support my boy, Big Hawk Yonkers. Big Hawk Yonkers native. Ooh. That's Big Hawk Yonkers native. Subscribe to my channel and my brother's channel right here. Philly down, baby. Philly, Philly down. down. He always helps me out and uh -huh. salutes everybody out there. Y'all yeah. be safe, for real. Oh yeah. So now we gonna go in this wholesale and uh, he said he get something to eat and then uh. Help him with his uh, up with some um, video thing with YouTube. You know, now you know you do the videos. Now you gotta edit them. You got certain stuff. I'ma help him out. This is my boy right here. This is my boy. This is my boy right here, big, big hawk. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. 
Man, we uh, we uh, we right by uh, Ryan Park. Ryan Park. Park. I work in Ryan he Park. Works, he works at Ryan Park. Public safety, so they actually used to come in the park, uh -huh. but they don't come there from what, like what I was told. Uh -huh. They they got some of them out of here. I don't know what the problem is yeah. or was. But when I get back to work tomorrow, because I'm off Sunday and Monday, try to find out. I'm gonna find out what's going on because I don't see them no more. Uh -huh. They the um the Seventh Day Event Day Church used to feed them. Yeah, and they used to clothe them. They used to give them, you know, uh, places where they can go to get. That's what I was houses. saying. The church was saying that they packed, like they they, they, they said they don't do it. No they, more. they they because they, they they ain't got no more money. The church said they ran they running out of money helping them in New York City. That's crazy. <laughs> this is the government's fault, man. Yeah. And you know, the church supposed to help everybody, and they said they running out, they said they ain't got no more money. If the church is running out of money, it's a problem. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, a it's, leaning, it's leaning real heavy. He's from here. Okay, we got homeless people right here. He's from here. He's from he's here. He, he ain't at that hotel that we passed today. Look at him, he's from here. He ain't at one of the hotels we had today. He on the streets. He on the streets. There you no help. And then you got the, the migrants, and they <laughs> they had nice hotels. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah. People come down here actually. They do? Yeah, they come down here actually. I'll try to help them. They try to help them. Oh, he said. There's something going on up in these shelters, man. Of course. Well, no. No, let me tell you. Let me tell you what this. The shelters, you got rules and regulations. That's why. So if you want drugs, you can't. Yeah, they got rules. Yeah, yeah. And you, got, you got curfew and all that. You got curfew. You got to be in at 10 o'clock. Yeah. You got to come and shut your time. Yeah. They ain't used to that. They come down here. They're in a situation. I'm going to do it until I get out until they help me find a place that I'm good. Some people like, stubborn. Some people like stubborn. Like yeah, they want to do it. It's like a form of, it's like form of being in jail, like, you know what I mean? But they feed you. You're getting three meals a day. They tell you, you know, you got to be in. If you're a drug addict, they tell you I'll be on the program. Or you got to look for jobs. You know, they want to make sure that you're just not sitting around, hanging out there. You got to find a job. Yeah, that's, that's, it has rules. You know, when somebody paying, when some, let's say if you're living at your mom's house when you're a kid, she fitting the bill, you're on your mom's roof. You got, whatever she say go, you got to, you, you know what I mean? You got to follow. So many people 40, 50 years old, they ain't trying to hear nothing, no, no 25 year old, 30 year old man telling them at a, at a shelter what they can do and what they cannot do. <laughs> yeah. What they can do or what they cannot do. They ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> That's the other. That's the other flip side of this. It's a. It's a lot of moving parts with this situation. But yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, we here now. So we in Whole Foods now. By Bryant Park. So we talk to you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and happiness.